Critical factors for farmers to incentivize, incent, intensify and commercialize have been a question for many years, actually, maybe for decades. And at some level, um, this was a real key issue in the meeting today, uh, largely because there was a sense on the part of everyone that there's a huge amount of variability in situations where, in fact, um, people have intensified and commercialized, small producers, uh, whether they have commercialized to the extent to which uh, donors and uh, development workers would like is something else. And of course, it was finally mentioned towards the end of the meeting that, in fact, if we look historically at, at what we know f from studies in West Africa and other parts of Africa, we know that a lot of people, small farmers, have always invested um, in crops where they, uh, there was a market in a sense, whether, but it was often very local markets. And in fact, some people did very well out of that. So a lot of people who don't trade um, in a big way actually have still intensified what they do and are quite flexible in what they do. So they're not tied to a particular crop, not tied to a particular chain. And the, those that are tied are often complained. So about five years ago, I did some work in Ghana on tomato markets. Um, and it was all about, um, the markets were all about the fact that um, they could get a good price for tomatoes that were good quality and out of season. So it was about finding a niche. And everybody knew that. So it wasn't that they didn't know. Of course, this is West Africa, a place that I consider to be, you know, market connoisseurs, market women, market men, very well organized markets. So it's not as though they have to learn about what a market looks like. In a sense, the markets are there, people use them. And sometimes if it's too far from a market, people will use, people, they will, they will sell to, to buyers who come, traders who come around. But in fact, people walk to markets and there's bulking goes on from smaller markets to bigger markets. So it's all kind of interesting, but it's, in fact, um, the final considered opinion today was that um, there's a huge amount of variability and we need to understand more. And one suggestion was that we should be, um, have some clear like indicators that we would say makes it clear that there has been or there is an ongoing system and people are engaging with markets and they need to think about um, those kind of indicators and stop seeking larger and scaling up and uh, thinking of larger and larger and more distant markets, which are quite problematic for a lot of people.